Hey class, welcome to the tutorial for uh, selecting the best unit of measurement. So why do we want to do this? Uh, well, we want to uh, choose a unit of measurement that will end up with a number that we can easily understand and work with. So uh, let's talk about this for a second. Say we, uh, I wanted to find the distance between uh, Whitby, the town of Whitby and Toronto. And uh, if you told me that it is approximately 60,000 meters away, it's, it's not a number that I'm not going to want to work with. I can't really imagine laying 60,000 meter sticks to, to really understand how far it is away. This number is way too large and, and I don't really want to use that number. So I would much rather have you have selected uh, kilometers instead because kilometers are longer and I only have to deal with the number 60 to understand that. So I can picture 60 kilometers much more than picturing 60,000 meters. So uh, let's get into this part right here. Uh, I'm just kind of going giving you baselines to understand really how long each measurement is. So starting at the uh, smallest unit of measurement that we're going to be using which is millimeters and if you want to think about millimeters, the width of a, of a credit card or a driver's license card or any of those cards is around one millimeter in, in width. So it's a pretty small unit of measurement. The next unit of measurement are centimeters, and that's around the width of your finger. So if you just take a look at your finger and the width of it, not the length, but the width from fingernail to fingernail, it's one centimeter, about one centimeter. Um, the next unit of measurement is a decimeter, and uh, the length of a pen is approximately a decimeter. It's a little longer, but I think it's the easiest thing for you to picture and visualize and see that it's around one decimeter long. The next unit of measurement is a uh, meter, and the length of guitar from uh, top to bottom is around a meter. I also like to think that uh, if you take uh, an average adult and look at their step, a large step. Uh, it's around a meter long, a huge step. And the wheel over here is uh, a kilometer and that's when you start talking about distances from one end to the other. It's the largest unit of measurement. Um, and it's way over here because there's these work nicely together. There's 10 millimeters in a centimeter, there's 10 centimeters in a decimeter, there's 10 decimeters in a meter, but there's a thousand meters in a kilometer, so a kilometer is, is much larger, much longer than any of the other uh, units of measurements. So um, let's kind of put this into action and, and use a, uh, a problem to try to solve. So let's say uh, we had a problem like this. So our friend Theron, he wanted to measure the length of a soccer field in millimeters. What advice would you give to it? So, knowing that a soccer field, and here's my uh, attempt to draw a soccer field here, obviously much larger than this, but the idea is, you know, I can see uh, people playing on it and they have to run long distances to get from one end to the other to score. So it's a pretty large area. I probably would not choose the millimeters because I couldn't imagine uh, trying to use widths of cards, credit cards, or driver's license cards to figure that out. I'm not about to put my finger down on the on the field over and over and over again to figure out that width as well. So that's out of the question. Uh, again, using pens as, as a unit of measurement to figure out how long it is, I'm not going to lay pen after pen after pen to figure that out either. Uh, I would probably, in this case, select a meter. Um, again, I think about uh, taking a large step. I can, I could probably uh, take large steps all the way across the soccer field to figure out how long it is and use that number to figure out the approximate length of the soccer field. So I would tell Theron that I would select meters to solve this and if I wanted to estimate it, actually take giant steps across that soccer field to figure out how long it would be. So there you go there, meters for that soccer field. And that's your tutorial for choosing the best unit of measurement.